wonderful people of the internet. Welcome back to Panda Create Tutorials. I am Panda and today I am very excited to bring you part four of the Wing It With Anna series, otherwise affectionately known as WeWa. Now I do this as a collaboration with Anna Conroy from Kiss My Art by Anna. And for those of you who are new to the channel, our Wing It With Anna series is basically where people nominate different methods um, in her Facebook group. Uh, she picks things that she has never, ever done before. And basically throughout the week, sometimes it's one night, sometimes it's every night of the week. But however long it takes her in the third week of every month, she goes live and she attempts these methods that she has never tried before live. Now, my job in this collaboration is to then chase up because when she's going live, because she's figuring it out for herself and doing it as she goes, um, her lives are not really tutorial style. That's sort of my forte. So my job in the collaboration is to then back her lives up with a step-by-step -step tutorial um, that you guys can try at home. Now, sometimes we don't actually collaborate with each other on how we're going to do ours because that's half the fun of it for us. We will both have exactly the same inspiration picture, but she doesn't tell me how she's going to do hers. I don't tell her how I'm going to do mine. Um, and that's part of the fun for her and I is to see sometimes we are exactly the same in how we're going to approach something. Sometimes it's completely different. Now, nine times out of 10, or what are we up to? Number four, four times out of four so far, she has picked things that she has not done before, but I have. OK, so this is another example of her sort of trying to make it up as she goes along and trying to figure it out, uh, how she's going to do hers and me just sticking with how I always do mine. Now, as you can see on the right here, this is hers. In her live video, she actually went about it the traditional way, which a lot of us have already seen, where she glittered her tumbler, then she sectioned it off with tape. She spray painted it a really nice plum color. Then she spray painted over the plum with a white. This is what you can see if you have a really close, can I zoom in? Yes, I can. If you look really closely, you can see the plum spray paint here. Okay. And then what she's done is I think from memory, she did use a tattoo and not a water slide. Um, but tattoos will work. So will water slides either way. Um, I call them distressed water slides because I use water slides more than tattoos. But basically what she did before she put the tattoo on, she went around the edges of her spray paint with some acetone and a cotton ball and she just worked away at the edges to get that distressed look with acetone. I go about mine an entirely different way. I use water slides and alcohol inks. So I'm going to show you how I achieve my distressed looks without having to use any spray paint or acetone. So keeping that in mind that they are two ways of approaching exactly the same look, we're going to get started on how I do mine. Okay, guys. So as I mentioned in the intro, we are doing a distressed uh, tumbler. I am doing mine with water slide. Um, and as I explained in the very beginning, but if you ended up skipping the intro, I'm just going to recap quickly. When Anna did her live version of this Wing It With Anna, uh, she did the traditional method where you spray paint layers and then you get your acetone and a cotton ball and you uh, rub away the layers so that you end up with like a distressed look with the spray paint and then you put your water slide over that. When I'm doing a dark base, um, I do it that way with the acetone and the spray paint but when I'm doing it with a light base uh, I tend to do it the cheats way and I just do my alcohol ink onto my water slide which is what we're doing with this one so I have already gone ahead and glittered um, my mug uh, a little thing is going to pop up at the top to show you how to glitter a tumbler if you have never done that before but we're going to skip that part for this tutorial because we're going to focus on just how to do the distress design on a water slide so that's already been done we're going to put that to the side and this is the water slide that we're going to be using which I think is a little bit creepy and a little bit cute all at once and I really really like it so it's got all of the detail in there and that's the water slide that we're going to use 
Now, doing it this way, when you print your water slide, you do have to mirror your image um, or your text before you print. So this actually sits that way on the cup, um, but we want to mirror it because we want to put our ink on. So make sure you mirror it. Uh, the uh, water slide paper that I prefer to use, which is what this is, is the, oh, he doesn't have his name on it. It's the clear um, water slide paper from Dr. Deacle and Mr. Hyde. So if you have a look in the description, the link will be there. I have an inkjet printer, uh, but they also sell it for laser paper as well. The other things that you are going to need is your Blanco ink, a paintbrush, um, I'm gonna use this one, and a cut up makeup sponge, like this, okay. So, all we need to do, I'm gonna put it this way so that you guys can watch. I mean, you need to put your ink into, I use the little artist palettes, um, you can use shot glasses, right? Uh, anything where you can put, get the lid off the ink. And then you just go about, now I'm left-handed, so I'm going to move this way a little bit so that you can still see what I'm doing. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in my ink and then I'm gonna dab. You don't want to um, streak because it's gonna leave, um, what's the word? Gaps in your white, right? So you do wanna put a generous amount on your brush and then dab it on. And you want to cover your whole design. Now I'm gonna try and stay away from the edges um, of my design because we're gonna use the sponge to create that distressed look. At the moment, I'm really just focusing on getting the design itself covered. The fiddly leaves. Okay, and you want enough on there that your design disappears behind the ink, right? So if you've put on a really thin coat of alcohol ink, <coughs> I'm, I keep moving that way. Um, if you put a coat of ink that is too thin and uh, when it dries, you find that the design is really noticeable from underneath, you can see it's starting to dry Work around this sunflower here. See how you can see the design, but it's not like super obvious. I'm using enough ink. If you're not using enough ink, it will just look like somebody's given your water slide a milk bath and it'll be a little bit opaque, but it won't look like this. If that happens, don't stress because as soon as the alcohol ink is dry, you can put another coat and another coat and another coat and keep building it up um, until it's... I want to say dense enough, but dense isn't the right word. Um, until it's built up enough um, that you're going to have a nice solid white background. Um, now, uh, if you have white water slide paper, usually I would say um, if you're printing on white water slide because you want your design to be a little bit more obvious, um, I'd say to use white water slide or just do a print and cut job. White water slide is not going to work for this method. You need it to be clear and you need to be able to put the white ink over the top of it because that's how you get that distressed edge. Obviously, if you're going to use white water slide paper, even if you do like a jaggedy edge cut around the outside, it's still going to look like you've cut a sticker and stuck it on. Okay, it's not going to have the same effect. So I just do want to clarify that now. That we do want the white ink over um, the clear water slide. Having said that, if you need, like if, you're, if you want to put a water slide over a dark base um, because you're not a fan of print and cut or you're not a fan of using printable vinyl, um, but you don't have any white water slide paper, 
This technique will work exactly the same way. You can print your water slide onto clear water slide paper and then you can go around and fill in behind making sure to mirror your image before you print it because obviously it goes ink side down on your cup or your coaster or whatever you're making. Um, but if you need to put a water slide onto a dark background but you don't have any white water slide paper, this technique will also work for that. But you only do what I'm doing now. You do not go in with the sponge to create that distressed look unless that's the look that you're going for. Okay, I've got like a lot of vines and stuff up around this area but I'm going to fill them in with the sponge. Which means we're just about done and I'm just going to go back through and add more white to all of it. Being a skull, I want that skull to not be that pretty blue <laughs> that I'm using for the glitter. I want our skull to stay that nice white grey colour. So I'm going to build this up a little bit more. As it dries, it's going to look more opaque than white anyway, um, but you'll be able to tell if it's not enough. You'll definitely be able to tell because I've made that mistake many times before. But like I said, you can just build up your layers. Okay. Now that we've got our water slide, what am I going to do with you? Oh, no. I'm going to put you here so that you don't go everywhere. I'm going to get my sponge. I'm going to need more ink. Okay, now I am going to go around the outside of my design and I'm going to splotch. Probably should have let this dry a little bit more but we can work with it. Okay, so this is what going in with the makeup sponge and creating that textured effect. Now, you can see where I've been, right? What you can't see and you won't see until it goes on the cup. I'll see if I can get it to show up. Hello, light. I'm actually putting, please focus, right? So, okay, using this leaf as an example, right? The ink actually goes out to about here okay so I am splotching around to create that distressed effect around the border of the image and not actually the image itself so yes I mean I probably should have let it dry a little bit more before I went in and did this bit but I can just go back with my paintbrush and fill it in okay but we want to do our splotchy splotchies and try it. We're creating almost an offset with the ink, right? Because we want that splotchy, distressed look around the outside of our design, but not necessarily on our design. Going all the way around. And I know you can't see on camera, guys, but I can see under my light <laughs> where I'm building up, where I'm getting to. Gonna go through here just so I can show you. Okay. Uh, so where was it? 
see around this edge here you can see where the ink comes out to right can you see on the skull itself that splotchy effect that's what we want to create okay but only around the outside so as the ink dries we want to keep adding that textured effect around the water slide and now I'm going to go back in and just build up the ink on the actual design again we're getting some cracks I used to really like that crackle. I've not had that happen to me before. But I think especially considering the design, it's going to work for us. And as always, everything that I am using will be in the description with links where I can. Oh, and I suppose I should address as well this glitter guys is actually one of my glitters from the lady over in texas that i used to go live for i went i was going live for her for about 18 months before i started doing australian lives um <coughs> but uh if if you're in america and you're watching this is a pink and purple monkey glitter i will list the link for it in the description if you are australian there is one called white haven beach from sparkles by carby designs um now it is uh this is a pearl and the white haven beach is a metallic but it is exactly the same color okay different effect of the glitter but same color so if you like the color that's what that is um i will also go ahead and link that in the description as well just in case you're an aussie but that is our water slide done now okay so i'm gonna let this dry and then we'll be back to put it on the cup and you'll be able to see the distressed look Alrighty, our water slide has dried and she's just soaking for a minute so we're going to apply the water slide exactly the same way as we apply every other water slide um, but bearing in mind when you printed your design you wanted it flipped um, because obviously if you if you print it the right way around when you're going to put all of the ink over it when you put it onto the cup with the ink facing down it's going to be backwards so please make sure that you mirror your image this was already mirrored before we put the ink well before i printed then we can put the ink on and now you will see you put it this way on the cup and you have your distressed water slide Ta-da! right so the ink goes on the back you flip it you peel it and flip it I need more hands. Okay, put some water on there so that it slides. There we go. Take it off the backing paper. Flip the image so that your ink is facing down and your colour is facing up. Oh, I changed my mind. Hang on, guys. Woman's prerogative, am I right? I was going <laughs> to... Right, so if that's the handle, I was going to put it so that the design was opposite the handle. But I've just 
changed my mind at the last minute so there we go I'm going to turn that light off so that you don't get the glare right so you have a really actually you can see the crack look remember how the alcohol ink cracked on me can you please focus and do your job thank you look you can see the cracks from the other side that's cool I like that anyway <clears throat> So that is our distress and you can see that the ink is really excuse me we're not having much luck with the focus are we right so can you see right next to the flower and the skull I'm gonna try and get to focus and stop pointing see how that's a really solid white and then it goes to like a not so see that Now, if you wanted to get fancy, I wasn't going to on this one because I just wanted it to be white. But if you wanted to get fancy and you wanted to have that layered colour effect that you can receive from uh, doing the spray paint and acetone trick, but you wanted to do it with the water slide, <coughs> excuse me, you would still flip your image and print it. You'd still spray seal it. You'd still put the white on. And then around the edges of the white where we did the sponge, remember, I'd build up the different colours from there. So say I was going to go blue, right, I would have done my white where the really solid part is right around the water slide. Once that was done, I would have done a lighter blue and then I would have done a darker blue and built it up that way. Okay, so it is achievable. I just want it all white on this because of the skull and the sunflowers and the fact that it's a light base anyway. Ta-da! And that is how I do my distressed looks on a light base. Now, as I mentioned in the very beginning in, I think it was the intro. I hope I meant, if I didn't mention it in the intro, I am mentioning it now. Um, if you wanted to put it over, like if you wanted a distress looked with a dark base i would do it the old-fashioned way um, of spray painting your layers and then wiping them away with acetone to get that distressed look but if you are doing it on a light base and i try and convince as many customers as i can to have them on light bases you can just do it with alcohol ink and you have the same see isn't that cool you get the same effect so that is how I do my distressed water slides in Thai with Anna's uh, Wing It With Anna number four. You can catch the live video um, of her attempting this in the Aussie Tumblr Makers and Crafters group on Facebook, guys. Sorry if you're an international crafter. Um, we, we do have an Aussie only rule. Sorry. You guys get, especially Americans, there are so many crafting groups for you guys. You've got to let us have one. All right. <laughs> but if you are an Aussie, you are welcome to join. Um, otherwise, at the very start of this video, if you skip through the intro, it does show my cup and her cup side by side. Okay. So she, you can see how she's done hers. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me on my channel once again. I will be back very soon with another tutorial and a few uh, product demos coming up and some unboxings. And I will see you next time. Bye guys!